Hi, my name's Dave Krishak, and doggone it, I love gluten. Regardless of what kind of bakery product you're making, it all starts with one thing, and that's going to be accurate scaling. The first one to go in is always going to be the Wawa or water. Remember that as the protein number goes up in the flour, you better mix it longer, and you better doggone add more water. In this case, it's about 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we want to add all of our dry ingredients. Now you might say, where's the oil? We're not using the oil right away. We're gonna do a little preliminary mixing. After two minutes of mixing, if we take a look at the dough, we see that it looks just about like biscuit dough. Now this is only two minutes on low speed, but there's no way there's any gluten development there. So we're gonna continue mixing until we develop some strength in this dough. So now we've got six minutes of mixing in medium speed. Uh, what we wanna see here is we want this dough to start to have a little elasticity but still maintain some of its extensibility. We can stretch it a little bit, but if I continue to pull the gluten, we just have this messed up mass in there. We would like this space right here to be almost translucent, and that's only gonna occur through about another three to four minutes of mixing. So now this is after eight minutes of mix. Dough is definitely much uh, softer. Uh, I can definitely feel a temperature increase. And now as I start to gently massage the dough to pull what we call a gluten window. Now if you tear it like this, that's not exactly what we're looking for. It's close. How do I know? I can tell just because of the extensibility. But when it tears like that, that's also a perfect indication that it still needs some more mix time. Okay, so after 10 minutes of mixing, we are there. What we're going to try and do is pull a little gluten film here. And because uh, we strongly encourage you to retard or refrigerate your dough overnight after it's made up into dough balls, we generally go to a little bit shy of full development. The biomechanical fermentation action that occurs in the retarder is gonna take that to full development for us. But you can see we can almost pull a gluten film here. I can almost see the cameraman through here.